Malachi chapter 3 verses 14 to 18 You have said it's futile to serve God. What did we gain by carrying out His requirements and going about like mourners before the Lord Almighty? But now we call the arrogant blessed. Certainly the evildoers prosper, and even those who challenge God escape. This verse talks about most of us. We have been praying, we have been worshipping the Lord for a very long time. We have been working hard for the kingdom of the Lord, but sometimes it seems that nothing is moving. No answer to the prayers are coming and we get discouraged, we get desperate and we do not know what to do. And we start saying that it's futile to serve God. But if you read the next words, the Lord is encouraging us by telling us that those who feared the Lord talked with each other and the Lord listened and heard. So even though we are talking about the Lord in desperate situation, about our desperate need, the Lord comes in our midst when we are talking to each other and He listens and He hears our complaints. The next verse says, A scroll of remembrance was written in His presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored His name. So there is a scroll of remembrance in the presence of the Lord. So the Lord keeps a record of our names. The Lord keeps a record of our situations. The Lord keeps a record of what we are going through. So even though sometimes it see seems that life is not favorable, but then the Lord is very much present in that situation and He remembers us. There is a scroll of remembrance in His presence with our names written down on it. And in next verse, He says, They will be mine, says the Lord, in the day when I make up my treasured possession. I will spare them, and you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked. So the Lord says, My children, whatever you are going through today, I have your name written down on the scroll of remembrance, and you will see the distinction between wicked and the righteous people, between those who do not follow the Lord and those who are diligently following the Lord. You will see the distinction with your own eyes, my children, and I am always present with you. Whatever you are going through today, I am remember you. I am with you in this situation and I will deliver you very soon and you will be able to glorify my name. May the Lord bless you.